Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay, and I hope my front burner is showing. Okay, this video is starting the week in good shape. A Dollar Tree meat and tasty cheat meals. So, um, I got a hundred new subscribers. What day was this? Saturday. And I think to myself, what did I do? <laughs> but hello and welcome to all the subscribers. That is awesome. If you're new, take heart because I had uh, 200 views <laughs> for the longest time. Okay, what did I make? Okay, I love these. Have you seen these at Dollar Tree? They're uh, hot smoked sausages. One twenty-five, and there's two. And how I cook these, here they are. Uh, they're tasty, too. Um, I just put them in the oven at 350, and I had some of this buttery uh, cooking spray, and I sprayed that on them, and they're really good. Look at this. Yum. And I saved some mint tea and I froze it. I was drinking uh, Diet Coke again. But I discovered sugar-free Gatorade, if any of you have the habit. The, the, it got discouraging because I think the, uh, um, the tea was aggravating my uh, insomnia, but that's caffeine-free. So I had some kind of butter. So I'm going to make some uh, macaroni and cheese. You know, if you have kind of like cheap meat, I like this, this meat. Uh, and you make a nice like macaroni uh, thing, or I could have made a big order of french fries. That's something I keep on hand. Or if you have a big bag of mashed potatoes and you have, or if you have a Dollar Tree bag of mashed potatoes, or the Dollar Tree um, uh, fries, the frozen fries, those are good. I like those. So I just want to melt my butter. And then I have some, I'm being kind to my pans, my new pans. I got these pants for Christmas. Oh, uh, you would think I wasn't grateful, but I was. <laughs> so, um, okay, I have some flour. Um, I was watching um, videos uh, on non-English speaking channels, and as long as they show the food and stuff, you can get the idea. So I'm just sprinkling a little flour at a time. But if you get too much, that's not a big deal. And what I want to do is just um, brown my, uh, not brown it, but cook the raw taste out of my flour. And then yesterday I bought two shelf-stable milk and I made cottage cheese and apples. I still have some in the refrigerator. Or I still have quite a bit of food, but this, um, this, um, this will be fine for tomorrow. So, okay, um, I mentioned to you that if on Friday night, Saturday, and tonight, Sunday, if you find some acceptable low-cost meals, then um, come Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you're going to have essentially all your money from um, Friday on Monday and all your money from Saturday on Tuesday and all your money on and this is on Sunday you're gonna have that so uh, last month I bought land of lake butter I mean cheese but I also bought um, this uh, big block of jalapeno cheese so uh, probably tonight I'm going to free, freeze it. So, okay, I just want to add a little milk. Dollar Tree, these are, I find these to be good. 
Uh, it's cheaper than the Walmart uh, whole milk powdered milk. It's maybe a little tastier for like on cereal. Okay, so let me um, grate a little bit of, um, of my... Um, this is pretty hot cheese. I have eaten quite a bit of it because it's very tasty. So uh, I want to mention when I am going to freeze this cheese tonight. So this will start to thicken up, see? And just uh, thicken it up. I don't bake it or anything. I mean, I need cheese. I need macaroni and cheese. I need it now. So um, I try to um, freeze it in a piece. Pretend this other piece wasn't cut off about this big. About this big. I think I got this for $6.99. Well worth it, too. So at the beginning of the month, this is really the... this. Um, ma this habanero Monterey Jack cheese is really for next month. And I still have quite a bit of this, um, this left as well. But it's in the freezer. So I keep everything in the freezer. That is the best way to make sure nothing happens to your food. And then, uh, now tonight, if there's leftovers... I usually just keep eating a little bowl of the leftovers until they're gone. I have quite a bit of food in my uh, refrigerator uh, from the last couple of days, but eventually I will eat it. Okay, I think this is about enough for the hot cheese. I don't want my macaroni and cheese too hot, but I did want to eat some. This stuff's good. So if you find a place where you can get your cheese marked down, and I get uh, marked down a uh, produce that's smart and final this week i think i overbought the fruit uh, today i had the, this is applesauce that i made here it is two apples i have one left i had two bananas i mean uh, i think i have learned as far as fresh fruit and vegetables, okay on the vegetables, if you want uh, three different kinds of vegetables. I don't like the stuff hanging around too long, but like uh, the cabbage does last longer. So I had um, cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. So next week, I like to buy um, you know, little um, salads. So I think I'll go for some, I'll try to find it marked down. I'll go for some kind of lettuce salad. So if, if so we have the homemade, um, I use this applesauce to make applesauce bread. You can make an apple pie with that if you want to. But, um, Mainly, I might freeze it. I just wanted to make sure. I have one apple left, too. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to make sure nothing happened to... One way to stretch your money is don't waste. Okay, now, like the way I always have made meals is meat, potatoes, and vegetables. But this is meat, macaroni. It could be meat, uh, rice, it could be meat, sweet potatoes, so it's a carb. So since the, the pasta is a carb, I really don't need, uh, I don't need bread. Uh, probably tomorrow. I, okay, so I'll just put, I'm saying it looks about like um, half a cup. And this is better and cheaper some of these boxes of macaroni and cheese, I'll, I'll just put it in until 
you know I get enough in there. So, uh, this is also like a white gravy. Remember when we had the gravy on the bread or uh, before I added the cheese, that is the white gravy. And uh, you can put that on, you know, with eggs. You don't need meat necessarily for your gravy. I like to put sausage sometimes or fry hamburger and make a gravy out of the... This is why you want to stockpile uh, milk. So think about water. Uh, do you have enough water? Uh, for some reason, I just procrastinate buying water. And that is the most vital thing one needs if something happens, you know. So, okay, can, I hope you can see my gravy. Or my, you know, this is going to be good with that jalapeno cheese in there. Okay, so uh, water, bread, just make the fry bread. I, I think that's what I'm going to make tomorrow. Rice, milk and a variety of beans. And I have been keeping my beans in the glass jars and it's so, so much better. Then you don't have to worry about anything getting into them. Um, uh, here's the, this is the Walmart tea I love. I wanted to show you that. Okay, so now here's some, uh, a while back, I started buying better pasta because I thought if you have to eat this stuff, make sure you have, this was, this was one and a half cups of pasta. So this is going to make, <laughs> and what I did is I measured out one and a half cups pasta and I put it in a jar and I did the same thing with the oatmeal and the beans so no wasting you know uh, i found out for one person and you don't have to go wild on the cheese and drive the price of your uh, macaroni and cheese up because uh you know you want to conserve your you know put enough on there but you don't have to overdo it so here is what we have uh, what if you don't have many uh, boxes of macaroni and cheese? Well, it's bad news, that's what. So I buy any kind of good deals, like on salt. Here's the salt. I think I bought it for about $1.29. I have to be careful. Now, this is the kind, see, this is like big, coarse-cut salt. And I like to uh, use that on everything. You have to be careful, though. Don't overdo it. And then I bought this. This was a big bag of black pepper. And uh, then you're not always at the worst possible time running out of stuff. The babies are saying hi. <laughs> They're happy. Okay, so I have a nice big bowl. And if you're making it yourself, you can make as much as you want. Uh, sometimes I put more milk in my macaroni and cheese, so it's like almost like soup. That's the way I really like it, too. So here is the macaroni, and I'm just going to put my um, Dollar Tree sausages in here. So here's what we have. Hi. <laughs> okay, now, so okay, that's very cheap. So we didn't go out and spend a lot of money this weekend. Um, when I used to work in the salons, a lot of times they would be dead broke on Monday. Okay, now I wanna do a product review. These are cheap. Have you seen these mug treats from Dollar Tree? Four for a dollar twenty-five. That would be about uh, thirty cents each. You get uh, a little frosting, and you just add three tablespoons of water. So here we go. And you microwave how long? Uh, microwave. Uh, 
if I like, the, I can't buy them. There's only one. Uh, the Dollar Tree is still, um, is still uh, slow. I mean, you know, there's nothing in there. It's like half, there's only one of these. Uh, one minute, okay. With these, you never know. You have to be careful. I'm going to start out with about chocolate cake. Oh, yum. Okay. You can use water or milk. So I have my milk right here. So we'll use that. One, two, three. Uh, this one uh, Dollar Tree I go to, I like it because it's all wiped out, but... I mean, there's nothing left. There was no toilet paper for two days. They have this deal, just like the hair color, no lumps. They have this toilet paper that is uh, six rolls for $1.25. That's cheap. Okay. So, okay. Let me get this going. Okay, so uh, we're starting the day out. So let's say that you did spend some money uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you cut back on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you're the next three days. And then so this month, I've been pretty much eating all of my meals out of the stockpile. And this is uh, Betty Crocker, so that's a pretty good brand. Let me show you again. I find their, their Betty Crocker to be good for cakes. Uh, what I was really looking for is crackers because what I think is because of this war, um, the price of wheat stuff is going to go up. Also, maybe, um, maybe uh, gas prices. And the gas out here is already $5. So, okay, meat, potatoes, and vegetables. I'm just having ketchup. That's going to count for my vegetables. Homemade bread and butter. If you make the fried bread, you don't need butter because you fried it. And then, uh, do I have enough water, bread, rice, milk, variety of beans? Okay, if frying in oil, try to fry as many items as possible. So I am going to be doing that this week. Well, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life because um, when you get older, it's not that you're going to, you could run out of money and bad things could happen. So I, if like if I'm frying um, fried breads, Okay, this is one minute. Wow. Oh, wow, it's done. Look, take a look at this. You still have to check it, though, just to make sure. Um, all right, let's get a knife. It's done. All right, now we'll put this uh, caramel, ooh, caramel toppy. Try it. So uh, even though there was nothing in the Dollar Tree, I still managed to find a couple things, and I'll show you. So let's see, what does this frosting look like? Oh, it looks good. It's very caramely. Uh, I like to um, stockpile um, desserts in small quantities, you know. This way you have yourself a nice little cake and that's the end of it. You don't have to ruin your diet. I'm still going to the gym. So uh, I'll probably go for the rest of my life because we've been watching this billionaire and he is, uh, here's, what the, here's what it looks like. He is trying to come up with this life extension and he says if we can last for 10 years, they're going to extend your life possibly to uh, two lifetimes. 
So uh, if you're thinking, well, wow, I don't want to live that long, he makes a good argument. Why rob yourself of your future life? I go, yeah, that's why. I mean, the second life could be better than the first. All right, I have some, uh, here it is, traditional Greek salad. So uh, about a month ago, I stocked up on these. Uh, the thing about these is these pickles are so tasty. And then you're getting, there's carrots and onions in here. This is kind of like one of those, um, you know, you go out. I won't be starving. Dollar Tree. So if you fry something in oil or you fry fried breads, try to make French fries. Try to make fried chicken. Okay, I have a good one. Okay, now on my food, I want to say, is this real food or is this just plain fake food? No, this is real food. Mm. I'm not going to a raw diet. I'm going to a meat, a carb, a vegetable, a small dessert, and a beverage. Two or three fresh vegetables as possible. And tea, if you have tea in the freezer, you can get by. You're not going to be going without, you're not going to be in misery. Now for the second Dollar Tree meal, and I think I have a good one this time. I'll be making it this week. Okay, Jack in the Box has these $20 Mega Munchies. 26 tiny tacos, three large order of curry fries, and 14 stuffed jalapenos and six dips. And I thought, wow, that looks so good. I can make my own because I have potatoes. I have oil to fry. And yesterday, you remember these beef crumbles? And I, ha I bought, I think it was last week, I bought uh, corn tortillas. So I'll be frying some of those. So uh, this was in the stockpile. So, okay, a regular... Okay, a regular jack-in-the-box taco, not the tiny tacos, is two ounces of meat or two tablespoons, and that beef is beef and soy. Now, this beef is uh, the first ingredients is cooked beef. There's no soy in this, and the serving size for this is two-thirds cups. And there is three servings. So I figure um, I could make a good taco. And then, you know, I have my sliced cheese. I can make a good taco with this stuff. And it would be cheap, too. And they had, uh, I try to look it up. And one of the Weight Watchers uh, tacos was turkey meat and McCormick cheesy taco seasoning. So that's going to give you a little less calories. And you can microwave your uh, tortillas. Just put them on a plate, uh, cover them with a wet paper towel, and microwave them. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm going to make um, some tacos. And then today, I bought some nice... I didn't buy... I just bought a couple things. But look, um, Dollar Tree has these uh, mozzarella cheese sticks. So when I'm frying my taco shells, I'll fry one of these. And then um, today for lunch, I wanted to try this because uh, this is a breakfast wrap a burrito. Now these were good. I, I will get some of these so that I can have one once a week. And then I have had these before, 125. And then, you know, I get my free, I get my free food at McDonald's so um those three items I got 
then there was a younger guy and he's you know how like the ch the chips are expensive i i saw this kid eating these i go uh those look good he goes i when i come to shop here i i run straight to these and i i get a bag and i eat them while my girlfriend uh shops and the way he was eating them looked so delicious so when i got home i go okay these will these will do because they don't have the um flavor of chips that i really like which is barbecue and what i like to do is buy like a 7-eleven pizza or a walmart pizza and i like barbecue chips and i only want to pay a dollar 25. and then i bought these jelly beans because i'm buying a little bit of stuff because easter is coming up i'm not doing anything too uh, drastic and i bought uh one of these uh baking powders because if you're making the fry breads, you don't want to run out of uh, baking powder. Okay, um, today it was raining, like really raining hard. So I can't really plant the rest of the garden yet. But it's really nice because it's been really kind of dry here. But for this time of the year, it's still pretty cold and rainy here. So um, what I really want to do is I don't want to spend too much money on my garden and I'm planting uh, food out of my seed. So if you're new to gardening and you have just a little plot, I ran into, I mentioned to you, um, I ran into a couple people yesterday that said they were depressed. And I said to the one, I go, oh, wow, uh, do you like to uh, garden? And she said, yeah. And she goes, as a matter of fact, I have a nice four bedroom uh, house now. I go, well, why don't you just try a little plot? I mean, not like planting acreage, just like maybe a little, you know, the size of a card table, whatever you can handle. And then window, go window seals, or if you have a balcony, you could fit quite a bit of uh, plants. So you can get seeds out of your food 25 cent Dollar Tree packages or um, Home Depot has three plants that are going pretty good for three for ten dollars. Uh, one year when my garden was doing good I sold I made quite a bit of money selling plants at the swap meet but that involves sun and I hate that. I wanted, oh, and then I said, she goes, oh, I love gardening. I go, well, you'll feel so much better. I posted on X some of my favorite songs. So the life coaches uh, say, if you listen to the music you loved when you were young, you can't stay in a bad mood. That is so true. So you can take a look, Rhoda Stone X, if you want to see what music was putting me in a um, good mood. And I'm still doing the flower arrangements and, you know, they're getting better. Like what I did on this one is I, this is actually, you'll learn, it's like hairdressing. This is two arrangements. So the arrangement down here is one. And then I just put a taller arrangement behind it. And I just learned that and it's a hundred times better. And then I kind of rearranged that little one uh, there. So uh, that is, is fun too. And then at the thrift store at one point, if you get like small books like this and you read one or two pages, you can learn so much. Like this is, this is such a good book. Here's some gemstones. And it's a beautiful little tabletop book. Without light, a gemstone has no color since it is the interactions with the light that result in color. It is the natural beauty along with the art, artistry and skill of man cutting the gems that brings out the best gems, the best in every gemstone. So if you guys have ever seen crudely cut uh, diamonds or you know some kind of stones from a long time ago they're still pretty but they don't have the brilliance that our stones uh, do now because the uh, people who made but they're very beautiful they're more dark and light they're just 
they're the facets aren't as intricate but they're really pretty and so it has just about every uh interesting stone in here and one of the first stones is one of my favorite alexandrite and i have a story one of my customers her father-in-law was worked for the oil company and she had big alexandrites about this big earring she goes ruthie i want to give them to you i go jean i can't take your alexandrites they're like nine thousand dollars a carat it's a good thing i wasn't some kind of um dishonest stylist and then my friend had i don't know if you've ever seen these this is an orange garnet and it's really they're really really pretty and so she she was older i was her hairstylist for a long time and she moved into this you think oh people are nice when they're old no uh she went down to the rec room she left her door unlocked and she knew it was her next door neighbor's son who stole her ring. I thought that was such a slimy, awful thing to do. Yes, her orange, her orange um, garnet. And so by now they're probably all dead. And so, you know, he's gonna have to explain why he did that. All right, now, one more thing. I've been watching these videos and it's people with prophetic dreams, uh, visions from the Lord. Um, I love to watch the crystal balls. They're creepy because like when I was warned, I was warned never listen to, never even listen to a soothsayer or a fortune teller, never mess around with a, a, a Ouija board, never do that. You're gonna get possessed. So um, the thing about these visions, okay, future telling is probably not a good idea because the only one who really kn knows the future is God. And so as people, what makes really makes God happy is when we have faith, right? And another thing I want to mention about this is dreams can come from devils. Or even like, um, like you know, uh, people trying to um, attract, you know, helpful um, spirits. You might have a house full of not so, I mean, they might seem nice, but they might be evil. So, you know, you have to watch out for that. And another evil thing is like any kind of consumption of like human to human remember cow to cow cause the mad cow and the bible instructs us not to drink blood don't do that so we're starting to see this and it's working in its way into the the media almost like some of this stuff is normal and what's so bad about it is the consequences of some of this going back to you think it's doing you all this good it's keeping you young it's making you live longer but at what cost you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to say that okay you guys i will see you tomorrow please like comment and subscribe and save all your money there's only like a week left so if we save all of our money we've got our week that we saved our money and we start next month with two weeks money. Okay, you guys. See you tomorrow. God bless you all. Bye. Bye, all new followers.